All right, let's do this. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel. Um, I am 23 years old and I'm going to be showing you how to curl your hair with a straightener. A lot of my friends and actually a lot of my family members as well um, have asked me how I do this. They're a little bit confused by it. So I figured that I would make a video. <laughs> um, so I use the GVP uh, model 264687. I don't know if that means anything, but it looks like this. And it's like a zebra print. I've been using this for years and I swear by it. Um, it goes under, up, I can't talk a little. It goes up to 450 degrees. And then it shows like a, I don't know if you can see. It has like a, like a red light and then a green light when it's heated and it's definitely heated right now. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to show you how I curl my hair with a straightener. So what I like to do first is, hold on, I need to put on my, I do wear glasses. Um, I should have put on my contacts for this, but I was lazy and I didn't want to. So, <laughs> um, so I usually section my hair probably like in like halfway, like you're doing like a half up, half down like hairdo. You do like, I don't know, like that much. Swirl it around. I do this because I actually don't have a clip. Just brush through the hair. So you're gonna take your straightener. You're gonna find a piece of hair about this big. And put your hair in, close the straightener, wrap the hair around, and then twist it 360. And then as you go down, the hair will curl. And I'll show you that again. And don't worry if it starts to steam, that means that it's working. <laughs> All right, and there you have a curl from a straightener. I'll show you guys one more time. Usually these dents don't really happen, but I'll go over them later. So here is another piece of hair. Again, I kind of put it in, actually I kind of put it in first, wrap the hair around 360, close it down. And depending on how fast you're going, the curl will be um, looser or tighter. So I'm going like probably like medium speed and you can see that's like not that tight of a curl. Like it's just kind of, you know, it's not that tight. Um, so I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do it a little bit um, slower so you can see like the difference. So put the hair in, wrap the hair around, 360, close it down. And do it super slowly. This is kind of a tedious process, but I think the end result is definitely worth it. Slow, slow, slow. Okay. As you can see, the curl definitely starts up higher now because we went a little bit slower. Put the hair in, wrap the hair around, 360, close it down, and then pull it through. And honestly, I don't even remember where I learned how to do this. Um, I do remember that curling irons never worked for me and I didn't know why my hair is just kind of annoying and doesn't want to do anything that I want it to do. I literally sat on my bed for about two hours and just figured it out. I should have done that one slower. Um, there we go. Um, but I literally did it <laughs> on my bed looking into the mirror trying to figure it out for two hours. So at this point I'm just going to show you what it looks like with a fourth of the hair, fourth of the hair on my head um, curled. So this is what it looks like right now. You can see it's definitely like very like Shirley Temple waves. This is my hair naturally, how long it is. Um, and you can see that it's definitely, sorry, I keep looking in the mirror to make sure that I'm in focus. Um, Cause I don't have the screen that flips towards me so I can see what's happening. I'm like, it's like against a mirror so I can see. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do a time lapse now and then finish the rest of my hair.
All right, so now that we have everything curled, you can see what it looks like. Definitely super curly. Hope I didn't forget any spots. That would be really embarrassing. That's what it looks like. And now what I usually do is I take, wow, this is really curly today. All right, <laughs> I take a brush and I actually, I don't really like the look of it like being like super, super curled. I don't know what this motion was, um, but I just kind of brush through it. And if it gets staticky or anything like that, just kind of run your hand through it because the natural oils on your hand will make the static go away. And then I have something like, I'll do an up close in a second, but you can kind of see. Don't brush too hard either because then the curl will fall out faster. All right guys, so that is everything. Um, if you have any more like questions or comments on how to do um, how to curl your hair with a straightener, then just leave a comment. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and um, like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.